Welcome. Today we will have a closer look um, at the UART protocol of the Rubik's Cube timer, um, the Speedstack Stackmat timer, and uh, I have found only a few information on the internet, so I plugged in my oscilloscope and uh, yeah, let's see what I found. Okay, in this uh, first screenshot uh, you can see the timer sends um, frames of uh, 9 bytes every 50 milliseconds and every byte uh, has its own meaning. Uh, the first byte um, is for the timer status. Um, e.g. left hand on timer is an ASCII L, right hand on timer is an ASCII R, both hands on timer an ASCII C and so on. And um, yeah, byte 2 to 6 is uh, the representation of the minutes at 10 seconds, 1 seconds, 0.1 seconds and 0.01 seconds. The 7th byte is a checksum and the 8th and 9 bytes are a new line and a carriage return ASCII. During my investigations I found uh, that my timer sends only an inverted UART signal with a level of about two and two and a half volts and uh, so I decided to adapt the signal with a standard NPN transistor circuit where the transistor acts as a switch and uh, on the screenshot you can see the timer out and uh, the signal the Arduino gets on the RX pin after the conversion. This is a transistor circuit, um, but I think uh, there's no need for more explanations uh, because I guess you are familiar with uh, this kind of circuits. In this screenshot uh, you can see the first four bytes of an Stackmat timer frame and the timer is uh, in reset state represented by an ASCII I and all the digits are set to zero represented by ASCII zero and this means uh, 48 decimal or 30 hex. The protocol is a standard UART protocol with 1200 bits per second, uh, one start bit, eight data bits, one stop bit. Let's have a closer look on the first four bytes in action. Timer is in reset state. Left hand on timer, right hand on timer, both hands on timer, and timer start. On the last byte on the screen you can see the binary second count. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, maybe the information is useful for you for a DIY tournament display for the timer. I used an Arduino Uno standard with a cheap multifunction shield. I controlled the seven segment display via shift registers and uh, timer one interrupt. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.